Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, back at you with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this Valentine's Day date night makeup look. Of course I did a bold lip and I made sure that my face looks as flawless as possible. This is not your everyday makeup routine, but I feel like this is great for those special occasions when you really want to look flawless. So Valentine's Day right around the corner, I got you covered. So I just showered, I have nothing on, and now I'm going to start right away with my foundation because I do that before I even do my concealer. And these two colors are Santa Fe and Patagonia, and they are full coverage as well. I'm super pale right now, guys. I just mix them in here and I'm going in with this brush. We're going for that nice full coverage look. This is a Valentine's Day date after all. So I'm just actually going down all the way to my neckline just to blend in your foundation. The worst mistake you can do is just stop right here. You need to really blend it in. This NARS foundation is great. <laughs> it instantly hides any scarring or zits or discoloration. Wow, I really like it. Now what I usually do is take the back of my beauty blender and just wipe it off my eyebrows. Now I'm just going to be going in this Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. I take this very orange color, and this might seem a little bit weird, but I just put a couple little dabs right under my eye area. It really is going to blend in and cover those dark circles. I have a bit of dark circles and wrinkles right now. It's been an emotional month for me, so my eye area is not looking the greatest. <laughs> just going to be using my favorite MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. It's almost done, as you guys can see. I just put a couple little pumps right onto my beauty blender brush. So this is just your damn beauty blender and I just go like this. Since women are more hormonal than men, we show a lot of redness near our nose area. And our skin is also thinner so our dark circles actually look worse. Another great thing to be excited about when it comes to being a woman. <laughs> you have all these extra problems. Sometimes I go in here. Okay, now a bit of nose contour. Lately I've been taking this Tarte the Sculptor. It's quite dark for my nose, but I'm going to blend it in. Let's not be too scared right now because it's gonna look a bit crazy. But I used to only do a powder contour. Now I'm also doing a cream as well. So you can see how I did that there. Looks kind of funny right now. I just take a separate beauty blender for this contouring part. And then we're just gonna lightly blend it in. This will look crazy right now, but I promise it's all going to blend in and look pretty good. I'm gonna go back in with this contour cream kit from Anastasia and take the lightest color that I'm basically out of. Just gonna line the middle part of my nose just so I can see what I'm working with here. This is like the blueprint for my powder contour. I just like to see a rough outline on where exactly I'm gonna be putting my powders when it comes to contouring my nose. See, that's all blended. It doesn't really even look like I did much, but it makes a difference. Right now I have this L'Oreal True Match, and I also have this CoverGirl Clean in Soft Honey. And I kind of mix the two because I'm at a weird stage right now where I'm super pale and I'm not used to it, so <laughs> I have to slowly add some more color to my face. Powder. Then I'm gonna go in with the darker one, same brush. Okay, so now that we have put the face powder on, I'm going to be doing highlight and contour with powders. I like to mix all three of these bed night powders to use under my eye in like a baking technique and a little bit around here. So I'm going to do that first. And now when I already mix them up, I just put them in this little container ready to go for me. I'm gonna go in actually with this big brush and just put this powder right under my eye like this. And a little bit over here. This might look weird, but this actually helps to slim your face out a bit. Now that I look crazy. <laughs> We're going to let that sit on our face and bake for a bit. And now I'm just going to get this contouring palette and with the dark color. Sometimes I even like to mix this Too Faced bronzer, Chocolate Soleil to do my nose as well. So it's just, might as well mix them both. Always tap off the excess. But now we're going to carve out the similar lines that we already did with our cream contour in our powder. Take a different brush and blend it out. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but my nose already looks a bit slimmer, which is what we're going for. When you actually end up putting the highlight on, it will look even better. So just blend it out so that it looks as natural as possible. Then I'm going to be going in with this brush, and I'm going to take the same color, tap off the excess, and contour right here. So we give our cheekbones some definition. 
or even the illusion of cheekbones if you don't have it, under your chin a little bit. Okay, now with the brush that has nothing on it, we're just gonna be removing the baking powder. Now this is not your everyday makeup routine. At least it's not my everyday makeup routine. But on special occasions when you wanna look really flawless and you wanna look carved in all the right places, <laughs> this is a really good technique. Okay, now this is even before bronzer and blush, so our face already looks nice and carved out. And don't mind my hair, I just got out of the shower, so it's like actually naturally air drying. So the bronzer that I'm going to be using is this Too Faced one. I also like to use this as a contour sometimes as well. You're not gonna come to the center with your bronzer, you're just gonna do the outskirts of your face. So you're basically going to frame your face and make it look nice and warm and natural. This will help to blend everything as well. A little bit above the forehead. You kind of want to keep the center of your face always looking the lightest. Usually at this stage when I'm done with all of my powders and things like that, I like to wipe the excess off my lips. Now blush, I'm going in with this MAC Nutcracker Sweet Blush. It's a blush and highlighter duo. It has Whisper of Guilt, which is why I bought it in the first place, but I actually really love this blush. So it's just a blush brush. We're gonna be focusing on this part of your cheek, not really the, out the outer part, just the, the apple of your cheeks, I guess you can say. I don't know why, but I always go over with the same brush and just blend it out. This was just my face powder brush, if you remember. The most important thing when it comes to doing your makeup is just to be very good at blending, blending, blending. That way you make everything look natural. What I'm going to be doing next is my eyebrows. With my Kiko products, I have a dark one and a light one. So what I did yesterday that actually worked for me was I actually went in with the dark one first. Usually I start with the front of my eyebrows, but I found that it looked pretty good when I did the dark first, and then I went in the front. So let's try that technique. Using very gentle and light brush strokes, we don't want to look like they're so drawn on. We just want them to look as natural and as clean as possible. This eyebrow is my better eyebrow. This one is the, the problem child. <laughs> I'm going in with my lighter color now. The Kiko eyebrow pencil is my favorite. You see how easy that is? My eyebrow's done. But yeah, I actually found that doing the outer corner first and then just lightly going in on the inner corner makes my brows look a bit more natural and it's almost easier to, to shape them that way. So I actually like this technique. Now remember, your brows are sisters, they're not twins. <laughs> so don't even try to get them looking identical. I'm just going in with a spoolie brush and I'm just gonna brush that out a bit. If you find that your brows are looking a bit dark, you can go in with a little bit of your facial powder or your setting powder and you could just brush in a bit of this lightness. I like to do that a lot even if they don't because I feel like it makes it look a bit more natural. So since I'm going to be doing a red lip for Valentine's Day, I don't want my eyeshadow to look too crazy and too overdone. I'm going to be going in with my favorite palette lately. It's the Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Let's start with the lightest color right here. I'm just gonna be taking this brush, like a fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna be basically brushing my entire eyelid with this. Okay, now the most important step. Get a good blending brush. It should be very soft, not too dense. And blend that right in to your crease a bit. Brown crease brush. Let's do this almost reddish brown color. And I'm just going in my crease a bit. I look kind of crazy right now, but I'm gonna take that blending brush and just blend, blend, blend. Now that is nice and blended. I'm gonna go in with this light color. I'm just gonna focus near the center, through the front to the center. And I'm going to go in with the darkest color on the set with my round crease brush. Tap off the excess and just lightly focus on my outer corner a bit. We don't want to be heavy handed about this because like I said, we're going to be doing a red lip so we don't want too much of a dark eyeshadow look. When this is all blended, it will look nice and natural. We're gonna blend it out. We're gonna take this light color again and we're just gonna clean up the excess a bit. Give the illusion of a cat eye. 
because we're going to be doing one after, so we want it to just nicely frame our face. It makes doing cat eye a little bit easier when you already have a working point. And you have that fallout, we want it gone. Now we're just gonna lightly curl our eyelashes. Always curl them before you do your mascara. I'm going to be going in with my telescopic mascara. What a difference, you see? <laughs> Now I'm going to be doing my cat eye with the Maybelline Lime Stiletto. I mentioned it in my favorites. It's my favorite one and it's the one that I feel most confident in using. The hardest part is not the first one. The hardest part is getting your second eye to look the same. <laughs> then once I get them to look sort of similar, that's when I kind of fill them in. They look pretty similar. The not so great part about doing cat eye is that when you do it, it kind of takes away from your mascara. So I think I'm going to see if Jules will put on fake lashes for me and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Jules actually did my eyelashes off camera, <laughs> which was so nice of her to do because like I said, I don't really do fake lashes very often, so I don't even know how, but I'm gonna learn this year. Or I'll even get her to do a collab video and we'll do our makeup together and she can show you how she does lashes. This is actually the Morphe New Eyelashes in Flirt Alert. And I really like these ones because they're light and they're wispy, so they're not too heavy because we weren't going for such a heavy eye makeup look. I didn't want my eyelashes to be overpowering. Yeah, so I'm just waiting for the glue to dry and when I do, I can go over with a little bit more of my eyeliner. Just in case the eyelash glue dries a bit white but for now that looks so good so I'm very excited about that now we're just going to do a simple under eye pencil and I have this waterproof mascara it's cover girl total tease I always take off the access because it's too much sorry you probably can't even see me before I go in highlighting my face I'm going to highlight my brow bone just with max whisper of guilt I'm just gonna take it and put a bit on here. And the inner corners. Now I'm going to highlight my face. This is my favorite part. I'm just gonna start by doing a subtle highlight on my cheekbone. This is date night, so we wanna look nice and glowing in all the right places. Okay, our nose. See how that just gave us a nice healthy glow? So first, I'm going to use this LA Girl. We're just gonna line our lips. You wanna always line slightly over, but not too much. This was in my favorites video as well. If you haven't seen it, check it out because it's a lot of my makeup favorites. This is just the Lula Cosmetics liquid lipstick. I probably look so funny right now. <laughs> now I want a redder lip. So I'm going in with the Liquid Matte by Julia Delore. I love this color. And you really want to paint it on. Sometimes I go over a bit with my lip liner. You need lip liner, especially with liquid lipstick. It's so important. You definitely want to do this and blot off the excess. That way when you smile, it doesn't get on your teeth. So my makeup is basically done. I'm just going to be taking my hair down and changing and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. So this is the final makeup look for your Valentine's Day date night. I got you covered. I hope that this video was easy enough to follow along to. This of course isn't your everyday makeup, but this was my really nice event makeup. So I wanted to do that extra touch with all the highlights and the contours. And I liked that I also added those fake lashes. So shout out to my sister. Thanks Jules for doing that for me as well. And of course I wanted to do a nice red lip because what is Valentine's Day if you can't do a red lip? If you guys like makeup videos like this, I can always do more for you in in the future, please give me a thumbs up so I know that you like them. Maybe I'll come out with you with my everyday makeup routine, or maybe I'll do another glam look, but maybe with nude lips instead. So let me know if you'd like to see more of those. And I hope that you guys have a great Valentine's Day. If you do end up using a look or a look similar to this, let me know in the comments down below. I would really appreciate it. So again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys, happy Valentine's Day.